Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning advanced coding writer for tutorials. Inside this video, we will see the concept that is MySQL stored processor in coding writer 4. So first of all, to use MySQL stored processor inside any of the application, first we need to understand that what is a MySQL stored processor. So stored processor are basically the functions or routines what we will store inside at database label. These methods we can call inside our application code. So what is a MySQL stored processor? What is the syntax? How can we use? What are its parameters? All those details actually we had discussed inside a playlist of MySQL inside channel. You can go and read all about the basic concept of MySQL stored processor. Inside this video, we are not going to discuss all about the basic concept. Instead, we will see that how can we create and use inside Code Igniter for application. To understand about this video concept, we have a documentation what we have inside this blogging website. Go inside these articles, click on Code Igniter 4 and here if I search for MySQL stored processor, pressing enter, scroll down and here as we can see that MySQL stored processor in Code Igniter for tutorial. So simply I will click on this article, scroll down. This article is totally from scratch, from installation up to application testing. So first of all, we need to download our Code Igniter for setup, scroll down. So here is the command. After copying this command, we can run and create a Code Igniter for fresh installation setup. But in the last video, where we had seen the concept of treat, already we have a blank setup. Now inside this setup, we will see the concept of MySQL stored processor. So inside this video, we are not going to do this basic installation, static environment variable, like connectivity with the database and so on because all these things we have covered inside last video. Now next, we are going to create a MySQL stored processor. So if I back to database, go here and in the last video, this is the trait underscore class database what we have created. And also here we have two tables called products and here we have a users table. Inside these two tables we have seeded dummy data inside last video. What we want from this video? From this video simply first of all we need to create MySQL stored processor. We will create two stored processors. The first is going to read all the users. Next, when we pass the user ID into that stored processor, then the single user detail will be returned. If I back to database called trait underscore class, inside this database, you will find option like routines. Simply click on routines. Here we have a link called add underscore routine. So we have two methods to create MySQL stored processor inside database. Either we can create via command or simply we can use PHP my admin manual tool. So we are going to use this manual tool to create a routine inside this database. So simply click on add routine. Here we have a pop-up. Inside this pop-up we need to pass routine name, type, parameters and the body. It means the logic of a stored processor. So first of all, inside this routine, let's say that we want get all users. This is a processor. Other option we have called a function. So we want to create processor and inside this stored processor get all users. We don't want any parameters. So simply I will click on this drop link, parameters removed and inside this body I need to write the logic to select all the users. So simply let's say begin. If I make some zoom, so begin. Here we have and this is the block syntax. Now next inside this begin and end block, we need to write our logic. So we need to select all the data from users table. So select all means star from the table we have called users. After writing this small snippet of code, 
Now next, I will go inside this and click on this Go button. In our MySQL stored procedure playlist inside this channel, we have defined all these concepts like what are the mean of these text boxes, check boxes and what are the use of these parameters. But right now, we have simply focused on the routine name, type and the body. Click on Go button. Stored processor created successfully. As we can see here, here we have the name called Get All Users. Now next, we need to create another routine. That routine will take a value from input, let's say input value from us and on the basis of a specific user ID, it will return the specific user detail. So again, click on add routine. Go here, let's say get specific user data. Again, we have processor. Now next, here we have the parameter, but this time we want to take the input value. So direction will be in. Next, let's say here something user underscore ID and length equals to five. Go inside this body. Let's say begin and and inside this begin and block let's say select all from user stable where id equals to user underscore id and this is the value means this is the column name of user stable and this is the value what we are taking as a user input after doing all these things like inside the stored processor simply i will click on this go button and here we have some error that is one or more errors to get rid of this error i will remove this semicolon from here i think that will be error click on go button and uh, this is not for actually the semicolon here we have something different error if we go inside this piece of code and here inside this code select all and this is not between actually we need to write begin here this is the keyword mistake we can pass the semicolon so what error actually error was we have used between here but instead of between we need to write begin keyword so after writing this code inside this code simply we are taking user id as our input value passing inside this query to get a specific user detail click on go button created successfully so here Without the help of any PHP code, if we want to execute this stored processor, simply go inside this routines, go here and get all users, click on execute button. After clicking on that, as we can see that we are getting all the users. If I scroll down, if we go and execute this get specific user data, click on execute and here it is asking for user ID. Let's say that we are passing user ID equals to 9 click on go button so it is returning a specific user detail again click on get all users as we can see we are getting all the user details now look at the syntax so behind the scene when we press execute button behind the scene it is using a call keyword and then stored processor name so simply by the help of this syntax by the help of this mysql command also we can call stored processor inside application so let's use this command inside our project setup so i will open this trade class into vs code successfully now we have imported our project go inside this app controllers and data controller this is the controller in the last video what we have created now next what i will do i will remove all these straight concept all these models go inside this controller class and first of all we need to create a db instance so public function let's define all about a construct method inside this let's say this db equals to db underscore connect by the help of this line actually we are creating a database instance called this db now let's create a method that is public function get all users list and inside this this db 
we will use a query method and inside this query method simply we will use the same like command what we had seen inside mysql that is call and after that we need to pass our mysql store procedure name so here we have get all users so i will copy and paste it here now next let's say get result let's say here we will store inside all users variable simply we are fetching all the users from get all users stored processor into result format and storing inside this variable and simply let's echo pre tag let's print our all users now if we save all these changes and let's create one more method that will take the user input value so public function get user data and inside this method we need to pass user input value so let's say here user id again let's say user equals to this db query and inside this we will call call keyword and the stored procedure name inside this case is something get specific user data so copy pasting it here and inside this function we can pass the user id what we are getting inside this method so copy and pasting it here now this time instead of all data we are getting a single specific row so we will use get row method and the same these two lines i will write for this method as well this time we need to display the user information so all the settings inside this controller we have done we need to create route next so go inside this config folder open up the file called routes.php inside this routes file let's say that routes get we will create list hyphen let's say list hyphen actually users already exist so what i will do let's make comment of this line and i will use the same route list hyphen product users and inside this we need to use data controller so data controller and inside this data controller this time we have the method as get all users list simply pasting it here now again we need to create route for the another method something get user data so copy pasting it here and this is let's say read single user if we save all these changes we need to start development server back to terminal cd go inside this trade class what we have created and let's say php spark serve as we can see development server is started so if i open this development server into a browser tab and to check let's copy this list hyphen users so i will copy this route this route is going to call this method from this data controller and inside this method by the help of db instance we are calling a stored processor and this stored processor is going to list all the users from users table so go here pressing enter and as we can see that we are getting all the users now inside this single specific user data as we know that we are taking user id into this method so first of all we need to pass a user id into this url as well so inside this route we need to pass the user id which is a numeric value go here we are passing this number value what we will get from the url to this method inside this dollar one which is a placeholder and this dollar one indicates the user id value again go to this file copy this route go here open into a duplicate tab pasting it here and inside this url let's say that we are going to pass this third number value and this third number value indicates all about this second object so if i hit enter and as you can see that we are getting a single specific user data 
So this is all the concept guys that how can we use a MySQL stored processor inside CodeIgniter 4 step by step. This is all what we had seen. So in the next video, we will see some more different concepts. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.